Pictures dominated the O.J. Simpson civil trial on this first day back from the holiday recess. The plaintiffs have found dozens of new photos of Simpson wearing the shoes he says he never owned. Aiden Pickering has more. Out of the quiet of the Christmas break came a giant piece of evidence as the Simpson trial resumed. 30 photos lawyers for the families got their hands on just this weekend, presented to the jury to impeach the testimony of this photographic witness, Robert Groden. They showed him the photographs of O.J. Simpson allegedly wearing Bruno Mali shoes and said, what about that, Mr. Groden? Before the break, the controversial JFK assassination buff declared this picture a fake. Taken in 1993 at a football game in Buffalo, it allegedly shows Simpson wearing shoes like the ones said to have left prints at the murder scene. But the plaintiffs introduced their new photos, they say taken by a different photographer at the same game. The plaintiffs say the newly discovered photos put the rare Bruno Marley shoes on Simpson's feet, even though he denies ever owning any. The first decision is, can these photographs be shown to be fakes? And if they are not, do you see if O.J. Simpson might have simply been mistaken? Simpson's attorneys wouldn't comment, but analysts say attacking the authenticity of the new photos will be hard given there are so many. Richard Aston is one of the police officers who stood guard outside Simpson's house the morning after the murders, while Mark Furman and the other detectives went in. Defense attorneys again hinted that one or more investigators swiped a bloody glove carried from the Bundy crime scene over the interior of Simpson's Bronco before throwing it behind his house. The question is as to whether there's going to be some kind of conspiracy or cover-up. It's pretty stupid, but um, I guess it's one way of being able to mount a defense. With court dark Tuesday, Simpson's team expects to resume Wednesday by calling Cora Fishman, Al Cowlings and Cato Kalin. Then, they say, they hope to put O.J. Simpson back on the stand on Friday. In Santa Monica, Aidan Pickering, Fox 11 News.